Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be listing what I think are the top five best epic or purple weapons in Borderlands 3. So before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Borderlands 3 Mayhem 4 Zane builds, cause that's what we do here on my channel. Don't forget to join the Zane Nation Discord channel, link will be in a pinned comment down below. Some of the weapons on this list, even if you find the blue or green rarity versions of these weapons, can do way more work than most legendaries. These are some of the most powerful weapons in the game. There are probably going to be a couple weapons that didn't make this list that are still powerful at purple rarity, but let's get straight into it. So coming in at our number 5 slot, I actually picked two weapons. They're both assault rifles, but one of these is a little bit better for mobbing, and the other one is going to definitely be better for bossing. So that is going to be the Q system and the Stranger. Both of these epic assault rifles can put in some insane amount of work in this game, but I gotta say, the Q system definitely has the edge when it comes to mobbing. It is a top tier Atlas assault rifle that you can even get double penetrating to put out loads of damage. Now the Stranger on the other hand is a Torg sticky assault rifle. Hey, it comes in double penetrating as well, and it's great for bossing. Look how easy it is to take out Grave Ward on Mayhem 4. Keep in mind, Grave Ward has somewhere around 27 million health. So as you can see, this Torg sticky assault rifle is insane at bossing. Keep in mind, this also comes in any element, and that's what I think makes it so good. This is honestly a pretty much an alchemist, but it actually has higher base damage and you can get it in any element. But that's why both of these are tied at number five. So next, coming in at number four, we gotta give a shout out to the best Jacob's shotgun in the entire game, in my opinion. That is the Stagecoach. This can come in multiple pellet counts, and this is actually Flak's best friend. If you guys haven't seen the Gunboy Flak build from Daquan, then you definitely gotta search it up. But this shotgun isn't only good on our robotic Beastmaster, Instead, I'm showcasing it on Zane and show you guys how I can clear through enemies in the takedown real quick just by spamming the shotgun. And since we had 100% weapon damage on action skill end, this might as well have been unanointed. But this thing definitely packs a punch and that's why it makes number four. So moving on and coming in at number three, we have one of the most powerful RPGs in the game. That is the Lump. This purple RPG is kind of like a giant kill of the wisp. It shoots these huge orbs through the air that connect to each enemy and then shoot explosive juice at each of them. Just how Mr. Torg would like it. The best way to use this is to just run around in circles and get as many enemies near you as possible to take them all out at once. Sometimes you can get insane kills on the Valkyries with this thing too. Cue the clip. Open your bloody eyes! Oh, Sorry, lady! I love to stay, but I've got a job to do. Also, what's great about all these purple weapons, just like the lump, most of these come in any element, and they could also come double penetrating. So these can be extremely powerful if you find the right one. Moving on to number two is actually the Bang Stick, another gun that is Flak's best friend. This thing with Flak puts out possibly the most damage I've ever seen in this game in a period of about 10 seconds. I'm actually not sure if this or the gun in the number one slot technically does the most damage in the game, um, like I said, in a 10 second window, but it's definitely gonna be one of these, which is kind of insane because this is a purple list. Also, you don't need ammo regen to make this thing do some insane damage. You can melt enemies with just a couple shots. It works on any character, comes in any element, like almost every other gun on this list, and that's always a bonus. Of course, I got a really cool clip. It's a Wotan kill I pulled off from his double shield phase all the way until he died. That's the kind of stuff you can do with this gun. Fresh out. 
Finally, we've gotten through the entire list. We are on to what I think is the best purple weapons in the game. This is kind of a two-in-one, and that's because both these weapons are nearly identical. That is the Hedgehog and the Quickie. Like I said, these are nearly the same RPG. The Hedgehog does a little bit more damage, but the Quickie has a little bit more fire rate. Now, I don't gotta show you guys a Grave Ward melting clip from Flak or Moe's. Every character can use this RPG. It comes in every single element, making it extremely versatile. You can also find these as green and blue. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen gray ones of these, and you can melt bosses with a gray version of this RPG. It is so powerful, as long as you find the right parts and the right elements. So instead, I'm just going to play you guys a 56 second Wotan kill. I was able to pull off a while ago with these RPGs. Keep in mind, this was before takedown scaling ever even came out, so this is true takedown mode. And if that doesn't tell you the power that any Vault Hunter can put out using this RPG, I don't know what will. Anyways guys, that's my top 5 list of epic and purple weapons in Borderlands 3, so if you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Borderlands 3 Mayhem 4 content in general. Hit that notification bell if you can't wait to see my next video. And like always, I appreciate you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.